Uh, finally, the DM3000 actually moves. You're witnessing some of the first motions of the Z carriage at this moment. That's it, just jogging. I'm having some directional control issues. And here's a rapid. Well, good one on that. Well, I had a rapid a moment ago. Not sure what just happened. <laughs> it's working before I tried to show you. <laughs> there we go. There was no key change just then. That's a rapid so far. I haven't really tuned it up. This is, uh, I finally got up the power supply to a 48 volts. Instead of the 24, and it does seem to be making it run a little faster. And uh, I don't have my Gecko G540 totally configured. I'm kind of winging it right now. I do have a, uh, we're going to spin the, the tool changer in just a minute. I don't have control of the Y just yet, but I will. It's just a configuration issue. I can hear it humming. Yeah, let's see. There's the... Okay, that would be against, the, it's a ratcheting tool changer. So every 60 degrees, it'll come against a lock. And that's the noise you hear. And the code will hit that and the stepper will slip. And that's fine. Rotates. That's in just the regular jog mode. That's, uh, I don't know what the percentage is right now, but that's fast enough for tool change, I would think. Here it is in rapid. Pretty quiet. There's my tail stock, by the way. I did get a tail stock since last time, and the, the guy who shipped it to me took great care to ship it and just put it in a cardboard box with absolutely no packing whatsoever. Uh, thank you uh, for the price. I can't bitch too much. I got a few other parts, hundreds of dollars worth of parts in reality for about 40 bucks. so I guess I could whine, but if I was shipping it to you, I'd ship it and, and take care of it. Anyway... Uh, that's today's review of the DM, and it's 3,000. It's finally coming along, and soon we'll see it implementing all three of its axes at once and some cool features. Y'all enjoy. Have a good one.